There's 40 of these beautiful hadiths of Sayyidina Muhammad that deals with muhabbat and ishq and love. Verily in the body is a piece of flesh in which if it's sound the entire body is sound, if it's corrupt the entire body is corrupt. Truly it is the heart. And Sahabi had asked Prophet who shows signs of it? And Sayyidina Muhammad described a believer with good character. As everything is reduced by Prophet down to good character, adabin al rabbi fa ahsanun fi tahdeed. Prophet Wasallam's only claim, not that I'm a great messenger, not that I'm this, not that I'm that, that, that Allah sent me to bring the adab of the heavens and has perfected my character. And as a result Holy Qur'an Allah describes khuluqul azeem. That Allah Almighty describing, you are of a magnificent character because Allah created that character. Allah knows what reality He put into the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Another holy hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad people whose hearts are like the hearts of birds they will enter into paradise. And the bird is symbolic of awliya. So many times when we see birds around they, they are a symbol and manifestation of very holy souls that our ability is not to see these souls and not prepared to see them and they appear as birds. And that's why all over Jannat al-Baqi is a beautiful like a ocean of beautiful birds of these pigeons and every now and then there's one right in the middle that's all white. They don't put any of their body waste onto that grave area, how much they have ihtiram and training. But the bird is symbolized what we said before of an immense love, immense love for Allah and it's this love that is not the head. And awliyaullah come and teach the first zikr, La ilaha illallah. La to your head, then learn in life to shut your head. Your head is the thing causing all your confusion. The head is where the nafs reside. The nafs becomes a partner with shaitan, makes shariq to come against Allah So every confusion is in the head. So the tariqahs come, the first zikr is La ilaha illallah into the heart. And that the heart is the abode and the house of Allah and Allah then ta takes and teaches us, clean my house, purify my house, wash my house and circumambulate my house. means make your body to move to the will of your heart, not your heart to follow the body. This dunya, this material world making everyone's heart to follow something they know is not right, do things they know is not right and Allah is reminding, no, force your body to do that which is correct and that will make Allah to be happy. Then they teach that it's not the size of your head because the head is actually the thing causing the problems. So the bird has a pea brain, like a pea. So this insan with the big head can do nothing, 
you cannot talk and communicate like an ant, you cannot fly like a bird. So what makes him to feel he's so special? With his big head he's not able to do anything. But then Prophet is saying, if you have love like a bird you are the people of paradise. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties including all your financing needs. We are one stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 AAA Realty. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. That bird comes to teach a symbol for them that it's not about your head, learn to shut your head off and bring the light and the love of Allah into the heart. Make the heart to be a source of power, then the bird comes as an example then you must be completely trusting in Allah And then this is where our life's testing comes. Why are you concerned about your money? Why are you concerned about anything in your life? Why not be like the bird that has absolutely no concern? It doesn't even think that I'm 5,000 feet in the air and Allah is going to not let me fly anymore. If we walk on a stick on the ground you have no problem. If you take that same stick or beam and put it in the air immediately your fear is you can't walk. Why fear? Because I'm gonna fall. How the bird has no fear? Not thinking that it's flying so high and that Allah will cut it off and not be able to fly in the next two minutes. But for us everything is about maybe He's not going to feed me tomorrow, maybe my rizq won't come in again, maybe this won't happen, maybe that won't happen. Every type of fear then Prophet is describing for us in this just a little example of a bird which is a huge ocean because the bird is representing only. And this diwan when people see a, an association of birds around means the awliya have appeared. A 
When we go to Mecca and Medina many times the birds come on the windowsill of your room, means they're awliya there and they're calling upon you. They represent and can present themselves as these birds and the peacock of them is the representation of Sayyidina Muhammad When they have an association they're all present as birds and then the ruhaniyat of Prophet when it appears as a peacock with a full bloom of beautific colours and the bird that represents Sayyidina Mahdi is the phoenix, the bird of war. It's about tawakkul, it's about having love, it's about shutting the head and opening the heart. Have faith that Allah will provide everything if the character is good, if the love is good. Hence when we have doubt in our lives it's maybe because we don't think that our love and our character is perfected. If you believe your love for Sayyidina Muhammad is sincere to your ability, Ya Rabbi I don't know how I can show my love anymore. If you reach to that level what do you have to fear for? Allah says, you love me and I love you. I don't even want to harm you by taking your soul. You're from Ashiqeen of Sayyidina Muhammad why I'm not going to feed you? Why I'm not going to provide for you? Why I'm not going to shelter you? Why is it that you doubt me? And all these songs of, of, of ishq and love they feel a sadness. How could I dare doubt Allah And that's why only Allah know that you can't rely on your salah, you can't rely on your zakah, you can't rely on any of your actions to make you feel that Allah is going to provide everything. You have to be truthful to ourselves that my prayers, if Allah wanted to give my sustenance based on my salah, I'm in big trouble. What makes my salat to be so great that Allah is going to send this sustenance for me? Why I'm going to pass my test? Because I, I prayed? Because I fasted? No, because I love you. I love you. I love your Rasul to the best of my ability. I may not be able to like love him like the next person, but Ya Rabbi I'm trying my best to love. I want my love to manifest and I'm going to show my love. I'm going to come, I'm going to support, I'm going to do, I'm going to bring food, I'm going to, to show so that that love it manifests in something. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interest and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works, just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the elements within our cosmos. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and journeys to the Divine's most powerful Son of all universes, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. 
these symbols of guidance lead us on the path to enlightenment, and by applying the disciplines of the star, the willing seeker can unlock hidden realities of the soul. It is ultimately through their guiding light that the student transcends life on earth and moves closer to realizing true cosmic awareness. Available worldwide at Amazon.com. Sheikhs come to take the love within your heart and bring it out. When we do the grand milad, it's our community showing and putting our love on our sleeve. Love is not hidden. You have to show your love, say, Ya Rabbi, look this, this band of 40 families and 30 families is going to put on a festival and, and a beautific sign of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to show our love. And Allah no doubt accepts that love, so it means they even teach by example. They make a life in which you manifest that love. If you have that love, if we have that love, there's nothing to worry about. If you love like that, you must know with all your heart and soul that Allah loves you. And everything Allah sends to you is like a gift to embrace you, to dress you, to fragrance you because you are from a shaqeen that you love what Allah loves and what Allah loves is Sayyidina Muhammad Pray that Allah increase us in this Divinely Muhabbat which opens for our heart the stations of Iman and Faith. In that station of Faith is all blessings and all light. That's why Prophet was describing, if you really want wealth, the real wealth is the Muhabbat. You're studying in school hoping one day you can get out and get a big check. Why would you spend $200,000 for a degree that your parents don't even know what you can do with it? Someone came out, one of our, our big ulama came out with a, what was it? An arts degree? Arts and crafts? You got an arts and crafts degree? All for what we're doing? To get a rizq, to get a sustenance, to get everything. And Allah said, why are you relying on that? How is that going to get your sustenance? That's only your brain hoping your brain power will get you somewhere. If you spend just a little bit of your time to develop the love, the muhabbat, the ishq, then know that Allah loves you, everything will be taken care of, every rizq will come. Prophet is describing, that's a wealthy one. His wealth is by the love that Allah granted to him. You cannot achieve any love and muhabbat into your heart if not Allah doesn't put it. And when Allah puts love into your heart of the Divine the Presence, you are the wealthiest person on earth. But if they give you ten million dollars and your heart is black, you'll never even find satisfaction in the ten million. Your life will be shallow and, and empty until sickness visits you and you have remorse. They said when Steve Jobs was dying, his biggest remorse was not all the wealth he achieved but the lack of love and surrounding himself with that love. The wealth couldn't buy anything and love is not something you can buy. Love is something you have to achieve that Allah puts within the heart. We pray, Ya Rabbi grant us your real wealth, not the wealth of the material world, Ya Rabbi but grant us this ocean of muhabbat to enter into our heart. 
refresh and renew our iman at every moment Ya Rabbi. Make us to be from ashiqeen so that we sit, our children sit and all our generations of children to come to sit and that they send their fruits of their amal to us when we've long passed from this world. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala muhtaleen Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surah al-Fatiha.